Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. In today's video we're going to be testing out the brand new Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Now I'm sure if you are a long term supporter of this channel you will know that I do digital art. It's a passion of mine. I may have slowed down a little bit lately uh, regard showing my artwork but I still do artwork on a regular basis. It's a uh, number one pastime for me. It helps me relax. So I've been using the iPad Pro latest version and I use an app called Procreate. It'd be really interesting to see what the new flagship Samsung Tab S7 Plus uh, can do also with the elements of drawing. We're going to be testing out some emulation and some native Android gaming on this system. Today is going to be an unboxing so before we get into that I will just read off some specs. There is two variants of this we have the Galaxy Tab S7 and obviously the Galaxy S7 Plus. The display for the Galaxy S7 is 11 inch 2560 times 1600 TFT panel up to 22 hertz which is really nice. For the model that I have, which is the S7 Plus, you get a 12.4 inch screen, 2800 by 1752 pixels. And also it comes with a Super AMOLED panel of up to 120 Hertz also. The processor inside is kicking a 865 Plus Snapdragon which is really nice. I believe that it has a, a little bit of an overclock. It's a bit faster than the actual Snapdragon 865. So it'll be interesting to see how that fares with emulation performance and also native gaming. The storage is pretty standard on both the S7 and the Plus, which is 128 gig or 256 variant. Memory is six gig or eight gig on both versions. You can choose which one you prefer. The camera is the same on both, which is a 13 megapixel camera, a 5 megapixel camera, ultra wide and a front facing 8 megapixel camera. It's 5G optional, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth uh, 5.0. The battery, uh, milliamp battery in the S7 is an 8000 milliamp battery. And in the version that I will be demonstrating today and unboxing is a 10,000.90 milliamp hour battery. The size on the S7 is 10 by 6.5 and 0.2 inches thick. The size on the Galaxy S7 Plus is 11.2 inch by 7.3 inch and it is also 0.2 inches thick. The Galaxy S7 weighs in at 1.1 pounds, and also the Galaxy S7 Plus weighs in at 1.3 pounds, a little bit heavier, but that's to be expected with the size increase. It's really nice to see the AMOLED screen, and it'd be really nice to see that we have the full 4K resolution. It'd be interesting to see how artwork looks, how games look. It'll be really, really interesting, especially with AMOLED display uh, of 120 hertz. I'm really, really looking forward to that. Let's have the unboxing, do the talking. So as you can see, it is absolutely huge. The parcel is massive. Always well packed, well nice, pretty standard showing both sides nothing on the top or the bottom it comes secure with tabs so we'll be getting the samurai sword out as always Smooth. Also smooth. Okay. So 
So instead of a normal plastic bag, we have a lovely silky smooth finish cover, protection cover. Very nice. So it comes with the power brick. Just pops off. It is a fast charging, which is nice. Obviously it has the lift out front pin. This is the UK version. Very nice. Come with the cable. Standard. USB type C. I don't think I was supposed to do that, but it's okay. If you have the Wi-Fi version, or if you have this for the TFT slot, if it has one, but I'm sure it does. For expandable memory, leaflets you will never read. And this is something that I'm really looking forward to, which is the Samsung pen. It's very light, really incredibly light, especially compared to the Apple Pencil 2. It is the size variant. So you can see it's a lot smaller. It definitely weighs less. The tips. Focus, come on, focus. Okay, it's got a really good tip to it. Yeah, I really like it. So here we have the tablet itself. So let's take it out of this lovely packaging. Obviously it's indicating that the pen can slot inside the unit itself. Which is going to be really unique. I think the, the iPad just sits and rests on the top by a couple of magnets. Which is nice. Better than the original version, which just stuck into the bottom of the USB-C. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. This thing is a monster. It is huge. Let's do a size comparison to the iPad Pro. So here we have a size comparison. Comes in uh, maybe half an inch bigger either side. So it's not too bad. It's thinner than the iPad Pro. Nice. So at the bottom, I know it's hard to tell, but we have dual speakers. We have the charging port. On the side, we have a connector for a keyboard and also cover. At the top, we have Two more speakers. It looks like that we have a microphone. We have the power cable, uh, sorry, the power switch and also the volume. We have the we have a TFT card slot, or it will be both, but we'll check that out a little bit later on. On the back, 
very nice design very nice finish i thought it would have been in like a groove to go in for the pen but it looks like there's a flat side to this and i think this just magnetized onto the back So as you can see, it's similar to the iPad. It doesn't rest inside, it literally rests on top, but it's quite secure, it's not gonna go anywhere. If it does get knocked though, this will come off, but it is fairly sturdy. It's nice to know. And I suppose it'll be used as a little razor when you have it laying down and you can play some games. So overall, there's a really nice, delicate, soft touch, and it's very smooth. And it's got, yeah, it feels like it's got like a paper, like you on paper, it's got like a little bit of, I would say, tooth. It's got a little bit of tooth to it. So... Yeah, I feel that I'd have better control over drawing with this than what I would do on the Apple. But we'll see with further tests. So what I'll do with the powers of YouTube, I will install, update, and I will see you very soon with some emulation testing, some drawing performance uh, with some free apps on the Play Store, Google Play. And then we will see how well this performs. We'll check out the screen, how bright it is, how nice it is. And I will see you in a tick. Hi guys, and welcome back. So we're gonna be starting off the emulation testing for gaming on the new Samsung S7 Plus. Now, I don't know if it's gonna come across very well on the screen, it just how stunning and beautiful that the AMOLED display really is. Now, I've been testing emulation for about two years on this channel, just under, but I've also been an avid emulation freak for about five years. I have never seen a tablet that has performed so outstandingly well with PSP performance so far. If you're wondering why it looks so incredibly sharp and crisp and running so smooth, the new Snapdragon 865 Plus processor is an absolute beast. If I was to say that this was running at, let me double check. No hacks on, but we're running at eight times resolution, guys. No hacks, eight times resolution. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And as I say, guys, you can, I kind of left it after just testing one gameplay run through and just to show you just how smooth it is because I crash, bang into the walls and don't play very well but I'm sure you can see by the replay just how incredibly smooth and that 120 hertz refresh rate there is no blur so when an object is moving it stays crisp there's no blur, there's no nothing it, it's the best I have seen on a tablet thus far Apple watch out samsung may have the next big hitter so let me jump into another level just to show you how shockingly bad my gameplay is
central to the 5.2k Talent Junction circuit are the cathedral like circuit breakers. Yeah, eight times resolution, guys. The sides are like magnets. Told you I'm not very good. PSP has never looked so good, guys. Let's just see if we can push it up another notch. Let's go to nine times resolution. The maximum is 10, I believe. I did a review of the Lenovo gaming laptop and I also tested out PSP. Now the maximum that went to was five. You could push it to six, but then it started to have sound issues and a few skips, but it still ran okay at six. But to have a tablet that actually outperforms a gaming laptop, which is only a, a year old, is absolutely incredible that just goes to show you the power of the eight the snapdragon processor in this is just yeah 865 plus wow okay let's check out another game let's lower the resolution and put it back to say let's put it on five Let's test out. God of War. Which is normally notorious for difficult emulation on lower end systems. Okay, let's push it and let's take it to times seven resolution.
This is the first time I've tested it guys, so this is with no hacks, no nothing, no improvements, just straight, straight away emulation performance through the emulator Dolphin. And this can be a quite difficult game to emulate this one. Concerned with the well being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mari, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. Thank you for purchasing. 
item from Gap Science Incorporated. Preparing to register customer information, scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom, data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer over dowsing device. I hope to be of assistance. Proceeding with user instruction. Use the R button to shoot water from my phone. If you press the R button all the way down, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the control stick to aim in any direction. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the R button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty, your water can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the R button. Instructions complete. Proceed.
As you can see guys, it's running absolutely flawlessly. Very impressive, very impressive indeed.
with Autosport, running perfectly fine. Quite a tough one really to run uh, when it comes to Android gaming, but there's Samsung S7 Plus is a dream, an absolute gamer's dream, guys. Silky smooth, guys. It's so good playing it on a 12.4 inch, I think it is. Really nice. Playing on a big screen makes a massive difference, guys. And as you've seen from the settings, it's on ultra. 
there is no indiscrepancies in the frame rate or texture quality. It just looks absolutely stunning. Okay, so this is the stylus. I don't know if you can see, but there is actually a cursor. Now you don't get that with the iPad. But here, it's just great to know where you can pinpoint. It's a bit sketchy when you, the faster you go, but it's a great indication where you can start if you want to start drawing. But as I said, that wasn't very good. So I just want you to see that the strokes come out really nice. Of cross hatching, looks good. Pressure sensitivity is really good. If you go very faint, and the harder you press. So for an artist, this is really nice. Now I used to think there was nothing that could actually beat the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil 2 on the new iPad Pro, but this is really, really nice. Really nice, guys. Look at this masterpiece. Millions it'll sell for, millions. Only joking. But it was just to give you a quick look at just how amazing yeah, it's really, really responsive, guys. Really nice. Doesn't matter where you go, what you do, how hard you press. It's super responsive. Really nice. So I just thought I'd show you. If you want to see more art-related stuff on here, guys, let me know. If you would like me to do a comparison video of the Apple iPad, the latest version, against the uh, Galaxy S7 Plus, uh, then let me know because I can do that. So I hope you've enjoyed the unboxing and impressions of the brand new and wonderful, which I think is wonderful, but times may change, you just don't know, over a couple of days, weeks with the actual system itself. But so far, guys, it is by far the best tablet I have tested to date. If you like the video, please hit that like button from a great height. Please subscribe. Hit the bell notification for lots of uh, videos on emulation, China handhelds, random unboxes. And as always, I'd love to know your thoughts on what you think of the performance and the look and the style. And if you're going to be picking up uh, Samsung Tab 7 Pro yourself, I'd love to know. And as always, take care.